Peg Namjoon is internationally recognized as the father of video art. The now deceased Korean artist created a large body of work, including video sculptures, installations, performances, videotapes, and television productions. Now, he had a global presence and influence, and his innovative art and visionary ideas continue to inspire a new generation of artists. Our Lee Ji Won sheds lights on Peng Nam Jun for a culture spot tonight. It may look humble, but this small, crumbling Korean-style home once housed the father of video art, Peng Nam Jun. The house in Changshindong, northeastern Seoul, is where Peng spent his childhood before leaving for college in Japan. The Seoul Museum of Art is working to renovate the property into a memorial hall that will show Peck's beginnings before he became an artist. Once renovated, the memorial hall will showcase Peck's early life and art using sound, video, pictures and writings. There will also be a physical diorama with three-dimensional works describing his experiences in the neighborhood. Many of Peck's works are exhibited at museums and exhibition halls. But by showing the story of his life through this memorial hall, we hope visitors will gain a better understanding of his background and installations. The renovation project is part of events to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Peck's passing this year. But the museum opened the house for a ceremony on Wednesday to mark another occasion, his birthday. Peng Nam Jun is a Korean video artist who used a variety of media in his work, creating never-before-seen artworks. He was recognized as the founder of video art at his big debut exhibition in 1963 and gained further renown when he began working with the cellist Charlotte Moorman, creating works that combined video, music, and performance. Peck was also known for making robots out of radio and television sets, installing video and sound to put emotions on technology. One of Peck's most representative works is Turtle, a supersized video installation made with 166 TV monitors. The giant turtle reflects Peck's use of architectural and sculptural elements that have become hallmarks of his works. It is also an expression of the artist's thoughts on combining nature and technology. The work can now be seen in Korea at the Peng Nam Jun Show at Dongdaemun Design Plaza, which also features 90 other works and gives a fuller picture of Peck's artistic range. The exhibition, organized by Gallery Ye, starts with his electronic sculptures of robots commemorating the 200th anniversary of the French Revolution and includes drawings he made when he developed dementia. Many people in Korea think Peng Nam Jun's works are eccentric and hard to understand. But through the exhibition, we wanted to tell them that they are actually more accessible than they might appear. In fact, he uses found objects. The global visionary artist's works are also on display at the Nam Jun Baek Art Center in the city of Yongin. Peck himself helped establish the center, which opened in 2008. The facility is an archive of Peck's artworks and installations with exhibits and screenings as well as classes that teaches people about his artworks and theories. Also known as the house where Nam Jun Baek lives long, in a nickname given by the artist himself, the center is another place where visitors can learn about the visionary artist's artistic values and ideas. The center offers seminars and education programs exploring different interpretations of Peck's works and allowing students to practice his spiritual heritage of creativity. And it's these practices, the exhibitions and interpretations of his work that have imprinted Peng Nam Jun on the collective memory as Korea's best media artist. Lee Ji Won, Arirang News.